virtualassistant-live.com and valive.tv. Um, sitting here on my sofa and uh, got a little glass of wine and I'm kind of like huddled on the sofa because I want to tell you a little story. Um, this is particularly aimed at anybody who is a virtual assistant uh, or a digital nomad. Um, basically the point of this post is because uh, virtual assistant-lives.com has been going for a year now. It was around this time last year that I launched the blog and also the YouTube channel and I decided I was going to take a year's journey and throughout this year I wanted to create a VA training program and really that was it. I wanted to do a VA training program. I had this idea uh, I wanted to get my team involved and I wanted to be able to help VAs to actually build an actual business on the program and that's really why I, want, I launched this blog and I thought to myself, well I'll do it for a year, if it goes okay then I'm going to carry on and if it doesn't um, then I'm going to stop and I'm going to go back to just working with clients and being a VA and I, I won't do this whole uh, passing information on to other VAs. Anyway. That is the point of this, but I really wanted to take you back a little further than that. And I haven't really done, I mean, some of you know snippets about my life and, and about my life at the moment and the way I travel and the way I become a digital nomad. But not many of you will know kind of where it all started. So I just thought I'd, you know, if you're interested, you can carry on and watch this video and you can hear a little, a little bit about me. Um, basically, uh, I reached 23 and I was kind of a little bit unhappy and, and I, I, I never really knew what I wanted out of life but I started to understand what I didn't really want out of life. Um, it was a very sort of transitional time for me and um, I decided at that point the more I tried to conform and to try and box myself in into you know kind of what was expected um, the more unhappy I became and I was working a lot of hours, I was commuting, um, I had a big mortgage at the time and you know I had a lot of stuff and I suppose what, what people would seem like the ideal life um, from the outside, looking from the outside, to me it wasn't the ideal life, uh, to me it was like a, a little bit of a prison really. So I decided that I didn't really want to live the rest of my life like that and uh, I decided at 23 I quit my job, I put my house on the market and um, I booked a ticket to go to Egypt. I'd been to Egypt on holiday the previous year for a couple of weeks, um, loved it so much, it was a relatively cheap country. Um, I met a couple of people out there, some friends. I made some friends while I was out there on holiday, so I thought to myself, what the heck, I'll just go to Egypt, and I suppose my family were wondering how long I was going to go for um, when I was coming back, <laughs> you know, my the people at my job wanted to leave my job open for me, and um, people thought I should rent out my house rather than sell it, but I really wanted to go into this whole thing feet first, <laughs> and I did. So. That was in February 2005 and by May, um, the day before my 24th birthday, I was in Egypt. Now, as soon as I arrived there, I felt like this massive release. It was like um, somebody had really kind of set me free or, or opened the door on the cage and I was able to get out. And really, once that happens to you, once you, you find that freedom and, and you're like a little bird and you fly out of your cage, you really don't want to go back into the cage. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's a frightening prospect. And that was at that point uh, when I started researching how I was able to stay away from the UK, to be able to keep travelling, to be able to kind of do my own thing, uh, create my own life, my own outside of the box kind of life. And that's when I started researching how, you know, how I could possibly work online uh, in order to basically not have to go back and be employed anymore by anyone, not have to go back to England, to kind of self-sustain myself and 
go wherever I wanted to go, be whatever I wanted to be, live wherever I wanted to live, you know, it was, it was like a, a desperation to, to be able to work online, make money online, because the way I saw it on the internet was my only hope. I didn't really know very much about the internet at that time. I was from a financial job background. So, you know, I, I used to sort of submit application forms online for, for different things, but I'd never explored um, anything to do with online. Knew nothing about websites, knew nothing about, <laughs> nothing really, to be honest with you. Um, so I started looking into different things, blogging and selling things, products, that type of thing, and I came across virtual assistants, and it was like this massive light bulb went on for me, it was just like, wow, people can provide services online, so I can kind of do something that I was similar, doing something similar, um, that I was doing in England, but I could do it online, and um, yeah, this could possibly work for me, so I spent two years two freaking years uh, learning everything I could possibly learn about being a virtual assistant, working online, providing services online. And uh, to cut a long story short, after those two years or, or during that time, uh, I met my husband and I became pregnant. And in October 2007, I became a mum. And by that time, I hadn't really done anything with this idea or with this concept. I mean, it was, I, I dabbled in it. I'd learned how to build websites during this time. I learned HTML. I learned how to use Photoshop. I learned how to design. Uh, I was very creative anyway. And I wanted to be creative with my life. So I kind of went down the creative route with, you know, the whole VA thing. I wanted to build my own website. I wanted to put systems in place, the kind of systems that I was putting in place offline, I wanted to do it online. And uh, that's the kind of learning curve I went through, and I did a few websites for people, for friends, and, you know, it was keeping me ticking over, but it wasn't really sort of providing me with that, you know, solid income that I, you know, really, really needed um, in order to raise a family. So, uh, in November 2007, I, I officially launched my VA business, uh, and I'm, I went into it really full throttle. I worked so freaking hard at <laughs> this business. I, I absolutely, every single day of the week, for a majority of the day, 16 hours or more, um, I would work on my business, try learning new things, try out different techniques of working online, try out different systems, um, ways of getting clients, that type of thing. Anyway, by 2010, so that was November 2007, by 2010, uh, my VA business, Virtual Miss Friday, became a multi-six figure company um, through like sheer blood, sweat and tears. There's, there was no quick fix to it, there was no like magical, oh it all happened overnight and you know I was earning millions, uh, no not at all. And uh, I had many many ups and downs during that time, many ups and downs, sometimes felt like giving up, uh, had another baby in between, you know it's kind of difficult working with babies as you probably know if you've got children yourself. And uh, yeah, it's been it's been real sort of up and down. But I can tell you one thing: this industry, being a virtual assistant, um, has changed my life completely. Uh, I never wanted to go back to the UK. I've never been back to the UK to live, and I don't think I ever will. Um, I can't ever see that happening. At the moment, we're traveling around, myself, my husband, and my two kids. We're looking for somewhere maybe where we can set up a base. Um, we're in Italy at the moment. It's lovely here. Uh, not sure if this is quite the place that we'd want to stop and stay. You never know. We're going to try Greece next year, and you know who knows what next. But the idea is, is that I kind of wanted to start blogging. I wanted to start sharing more about uh, how my VA business went from zero to hero in uh, <laughs> three years, and and how I managed to do it really, um, kind of through creative testing, trial and error, that type of thing, and that is what the VA Apprentice is all about. Uh, 
So, going back to the point, now you know a little bit more about me, you know how this all started, you know that I'm a virtual assistant, you know that I absolutely adore this industry. Um, it's what stopped me from going back in the cage. I am never going back in that cage. <laughs> and um, it's what really keeps me going and I, I love it. I have, I have a really interesting relationship. Um, with being a virtual assistant. On a personal level, I have an interesting relationship with being a virtual assistant um, for what it's able to do for me and obviously a, a relationship with my business. It's it's different. It's not like a business. It's not like, you know, I set up a business and, you know, there's charts and graphs and projections and things like that. No, it's not like that. It's, a, it's more of an intimate relationship that I have with my business and I think that um, if you're starting a business for for personal reasons the way I did, um, if you can find that intimate relationship with your own business, then the sky is really, really the limit. And um, I feel so grateful to everybody who supported me on Virtual Assistant Live. Um, it's been an amazing year going from like, Nobody heard of me last year to to having a really good network of VAs around me now, which I absolutely love. Thank you to everybody. Um, thank you to the VAs who put their faith in me doing the beta testing of the VA Apprentice. Um, it wouldn't be where it is today without you guys. And thank you to everybody who's since joined the VA Apprentice and who's worked with me and... Um, interacts with me kind of on a really daily basis I guess through the forums through the Facebook groups that we have through the VA passport which was kind of like just came out of nowhere off the back of the VA apprentice um, and I love this community I, I love this kind of VA community that we've got going here of, of people trying to live their lives and be a VA and take care of their families and travel and and craft their own lives and craft their own relationships with their VA business and it's all really good fun. And the final thing I want to say is that Virtual Assistant Live is here to stay. I said I'm going to give it a year. I've given it a year. I love doing it. It's helping a lot of people. It's here to stay and it's going to get bigger and brighter and better. And I'm fully committed to you guys now into sharing everything that I do. I still have a very, very active VA company. It's never going to change. Um, I love my VA company and I love all my team who have helped me get to this point, you know. And um, as I continue to learn and grow in this industry and as the industry changes and I'm adapting, I really want to be able to help you guys adapt too because if anything is going to happen with this industry, it's going to be change hell of a lot of change and uh, I'm the kind of person who embraces it, who tries to work along with it even though sometimes we don't like the change. <laughs> um, we have to work with it and we have to try and overcome hurdles, uh, all sorts of hurdles in the industry and within our business. So final thought, VA Live is here to stay, Michelle Dale is here to stay and um, if you are thinking of starting a VA business, check out the VAPrentice.com. If you have started a VA business, if you're on your journey um, through the ups and downs, highs and lows, whatever you do, do not give up. You can do this. You can freaking do this. If I can do this, so can you. And um, I'm here to support you. I'm here to help you. So comment on the blog, ask me questions, join the VA Passport, um, ask me anything you want to know uh, about anything and um, I'm really, really happy to help. You need to understand this is all based on my own experiences, um, this is all based on you know things that I've encountered um, throughout the last few years of getting my VA business up and running. Um, but yeah, I have, I have something to offer you, so for those who choose to listen, thank you so much. And uh, here's a toast to virtual assistants everywhere. You do an amazing job. Uh, you're freaking awesome. And uh, don't let anyone ever tell you different. So take care. And I'll see you on the next video.